Here we are at Detroit Motor Show 2012, where Volvo is presenting the XC60 plug-in hybrid concept car. This is a car equipped with a petrol engine, four cylinders, 280 horsepower, combined with an electric motor for the rear wheels with 70 horsepower. And you can choose either to go only electric drive up to 35 miles, you can combine the two engines in hybrid drive up to 600 miles, and you can combine the two engines to give a 350 horsepower output. And when you're done your driving for the day, you come home, you uh, take the cable, just plug it in, and the battery will charge overnight so you can have a new drive next day. The three cars in one means that you can choose to go only electrical drive by pressing pure, or you combine the two engines in a hybrid drive where the two engines give the best possible fuel economy or you combine the two engines at the same time in power to get 350 horsepower on tap. I'm very excited about the technology in this car, especially the connectivity side. We have some gadgets, we have a mobile app where you can see if you have plugged in your charging cable. You can also see in the mobile app uh, the range of the car from the battery. We also have a gadget into the car. We have a connected navigation system where you can program your, uh, your trip to a destination from an emission-friendly uh, perspective. And you can also see possible charging places during the trip. I think the ability to run in electric power, which is really what we're talking about with the so-called three-button option, is an important one and one that consumers really like. I get a lot of questions from my readers saying, when can I have a crossover, a family vehicle, or a larger vehicle that's a hybrid, that's massively fuel efficient, whatever it is. And so this is a potential answer to that question. I think it's very important to provide the different options. The, the, the Volvo has a three button option for the drivers. Uh, particularly as the consumers begin going through the learning process about how to adapt and how to use this new type of drive mode. You know, again, once people get behind the wheels of electric cars, they tend to love them. They're, the electric cars are great. They're peppy, they're quiet, people love the quiet. But having a choice, I think, is very important in the beginning stages of a transition like this. It's a very much intuitive vehicle in respect that the driver can choose in which mode he wants to drive. He can drive pure electric mode up to 35 miles. He can then switch to the hybrid mode. And if he needs the full power of the gasoline engine, he can have the power mode and then can enjoy the drive of the American interstates here.